We'll see whether this giant amount of tangy citrus lemons... The question is, will they be enough to start this here car? Go for it. Seriously? Fuck that. What's up? I'm not gonna lick this. Hey there, fellas. For today's episode, we're staying true to our old tradition of conducting weird experiments. Today's idea is quite simple. Most of you have probably seen something similar on the internet or on TV. So there are people out there who take, for example, a potato or a lemon, attach a few wires and some other stuff made out of metal, like zinc, for instance and use all of that to light up an LED or some kind of tiny light bulb. But as you might imagine, that's not how we do things around here. Anyway, the point is that we've used anything you can imagine to try and start a car. But we've never tried using a lemon for that purpose. I'm quite interested in seeing how all of this is going to work. But just thinking about how much raw material we're going to need to get the job done... Good luck finding a store with enough lemons in stock. So here's how it works. It's all actually quite simple. On one side you have copper, and on the other you have a bit of zinc. Due to a lemon containing... It consists of some sort of acid, or maybe it isn't acid. Anyway, when you stick one piece made out of zinc and another bit made out of copper, here's what happens. Let me just measure the voltage. That's the output from one lemon half right there. That's almost an entire volt, given the margin of error of the gauge itself. So in theory, if we were to... Take a shit ton of lemons, and if we were to hook them up in series, bring the voltage up to 12, and then bring it all into parallel in order to provide the necessary amperage. I mean, to be honest, I can't even imagine what sort of amperage half a lemon can put out, or how to even measure it. But as a matter of fact, we should wind up with a battery of sorts. If even just one half of a lemon is good for one volt, so say, if we were to take 300, or 400, or maybe even 500, I don't know the exact amount, but it's gonna be a lot. Anyway, it should give us some healthy voltage. And in theory, it should even give us some amperage. We should at least see something. Right, guys, enough talk. Let's go start a car using some lemons. Let's do this. Can a battery made out of a thousand lemons start a car? Translation and voiceover by BMI Russian. All right, guys, so we found ourselves some lemons. But here's the funny part in this whole deal. The thing is that we're gonna need at least 60 kilos worth of them. Okay, so we've made a trip to the grocery store to buy some citruses. It is vitamin C after all. We're looking at about 70 kilos of lemons. We don't know exactly how many are in there. We've also got this thick gauge wire, which we'll use for a positive and negative lead. Some thin wire to get all of this connected. Also, we've got some copper wiring, which we'll be sticking into these lemons. As for the zinc, the self-tappers are going to cover that one. We're going to have to do this as quickly as possible, given that the first lemon we experimented with, we left it to sit for a bit, and after about 30 to 40 minutes, the voltage started plummeting. Zinc tends to oxidize very rapidly. It goes from shiny to really dark which is probably the reason why things seem to bog down, leading to a drop in voltage. We wouldn't want the voltage to tumble while we're in the process of putting everything together, which is why we have to act fast. Let's do this!
So here's what we're looking at. It's actually quite simple. One half is good for about 0.9 volts. It might seem as if 13 would do the trick, giving you somewhere around 12 volts in total. But in reality, in order to achieve 11 to 12 volts, you're gonna need 15 to 17 halves. In other words, we'll need to connect about a thousand halves in order to... for us to get some kind of capacity happening. Since the amperage here is basically non-existent. I mean, it might be enough to light up an LED or something, but it's not gonna be enough to fire up a car. Granted, we will be connecting over 1,000 halves, so we're all hoping that we'll witness some sort of miracle with this one. Okay, fellas, so this is pretty much how we've got everything connected. If I'm being completely honest, this took quite a bit of time. I can't say it was that excruciating, but we were doing our best to get the job done quickly, since the bits and pieces are prone to oxidation. The main leads are tied down to these strips of wood. The thing is that the copper wiring is a bit twisted, and it just kept ripping out all of the smaller wires. But with this setup, everything works just fine. Alright, so here's what's up, guys. I've connected one wire directly. And now we take the second probe and tap this wire. Right now you're looking at the total voltage, which is approximately 13.5 volts. That's from a thousand lemon halves, give or take. All right, guys, now we get to the main stage of this experiment. We'll see whether this giant amount of tangy citrus Lemons. The question is, will they be enough to start this here car? The car does fire up without hesitation. Toyotas don't need that much energy to start, and hopefully this will be enough to do the trick. I mean, I'm sure you've seen those television programs where they were able to light up an LED using one or two halves. Time for us to find out whether this LED will light up or not. Grab this for me, will ya? Red is positive, right? Um, yeah. Yeah, this one is the positive. Are you sure? Yeah, totally. The positive is where the zinc is at. And then something goes kablamo and we end up with a gold bar. And all of a sudden we're rich. Okay, so now we just... By the way, where's the driver? He's behind the wheel. Behind the wheel? Go for it. Seriously? You bunch of trolls. That was a fake, fellas. Look at what these guys are doing right behind my back. It'll be interesting to see what sort of output our battery can generate. So I've switched the multimeter to 200 microamps. And now let's have a look at what sort of amperage this thing puts out. Okay, that was protection mode. Let's try 2000. Look at how it drops. 1500, give or take. So that's 1500 microamps. This battery has quite a bit of juice. It goes up right away. You can go ahead and connect it. Oh man, it stops at 0.1 volts. Zero point one, yeah. Looks like we don't have any capacity whatsoever. Or amperage for that matter. There you go. We spent so much time making this battery, cutting up lemons to the point where we started to get dizzy, and all of that acid really stings your hands. So we put everything together, but the damn thing doesn't work. And since this battery doesn't seem to work, I say we try hooking it up to something else, like a lamp or something. Let's try this LED. The LED does appear to be doing something. Let's try a deadly trick. You want to do the honors? What do you mean? I mean licking it. Now why would I do that? I still need my teeth, you know. Come on, try it out. I can pry you off. It looks like you're shaking a bit. I'm getting ready to rip myself off. I see, okay. Oh man, what's the matter with you? Bitterness, man. You already got shocked? It's just that the copper's salty. Fuck that. What's up? I'm not gonna lick this. It's just like a 9-volt battery. It's like I'm holding a new 9-volt battery. 
And I can't quite, you know... Why don't you try it? Nah, come on. Well, it doesn't necessarily feel like a new 9 volt, but it's pretty nasty. Come on now. <laughs> Your hands seem to be shaking a bit. <laughs> no? <laughs> it's bearable. That was not pleasant. So that brings us to the end of our experiment. The power output of this device that we've made here is only about 1.5 milliamps. In order to start a car, well, let's do a bit of math. We'll need about 100 amps. Now we divide 100 amps by 1.5 milliamps, and we wind up with about 66,500 sets like this one. Each one containing 1,000 lemon halves. That's f***ing nuts. All in all, for us to get 100 amps, we'll need about 66 million lemon halves. Like the ones we've got here, which is a bit more than 32 million whole lemons, or almost 5,000 tons. That seems like a difficult thing to do, given that you have to be quick with connecting them. Zinc does start to oxidize, and I'm sure it's the same story with copper. And that leads to a slow drop in voltage. You need to put everything together very quickly for it to somewhat work. And I don't think anybody will be able to get such a large amount connected fast. Anyway, that's it for today's experiment. It was a bit silly to begin with, considering that nobody is going to be starting a car using lemons. This actually cost us exactly what a good car battery goes for these days. Oh yeah, one more thing. We've got all of these lemons, it might seem as if they're no use to us anymore, but we do have a juicer. So we'll be using each and every one of these halves to make some lemonade. You guys feel free to hit the comments and tell us what we should do with so much lemonade, since I'm guessing that we'll wind up with quite a lot. Although, to be honest, I have never squeezed juice out of a lemon. Anyway, we'll be waiting for your suggestions. Maybe we boil it or stick it into a tire. We're down with pretty much anything. Okay, that's all I have for you. So leave us some comments and suggestions. Like, subscribe. Alright, catch you later.